Hi, welcome back to my channel, Candle Fluffy Performs Reviews. And today I'm sharing with you a brief look of all the candles that I was able to finish in August of 2022. These are all from Bath & Body Works except one. So I'll just get to it at the beginning. So here's this candle. Now if you look at the bottom of this, the brand looks like it's Aroma Mix. It was supposed to be a 9 ounce orange vanilla scented candle with a burn time of 32 to 36 hours. When I got this candle, it was about here where my thumb is at the top. I paid 50 cents for it. And the smell of this was just kind of a vanilla smell. But I'll tell you what, it liquefied really fast, and I didn't get anywhere near that length of burn time for it to have been that full when I bought it. So I don't know who makes Aroma Mix candles or anything about them, but am I going to rush out to get this? Not at this time. But for 50 cents, it was definitely worth 50 cents. So, and you know, from probably a medium scent throw of a vanilla scent, it was okay. Now here we get to one of the oldest ones here in the picture. We have a Bath & Body Works Mint Chocolate Scented Candle. And this is Semi-Sweet Chocolate, Dark Cocoa and Peppermint with Vanilla Cream and White Chocolate. This was poured in 2013, back when the price would have been $20. Here's the inside. Now, I don't remember it giving me any kind of issue. The only issue was that it was kind of light. And I'd had this scent before, so I don't know if me just ha having it that long, you know, it got lighter and some of the oils evaporated. Um, I still think I have like maybe two of these. And this candle used to come out on Candle Day, but we haven't seen it on Candle Day in a while, just like Creamy Nutmeg hadn't been out for a couple years. Well, probably more than a couple, but. So I would definitely get this again, and it does kind of remind you like the picture. But unfortunately, this one was just medium. Then we have a good one here. This is the Daydream, and I don't know what happened to the label. This is Daydream. Fresh raspberry, sparkling pear, pink lily petals. Now this did smell like the body care. Here's the inside. I don't remember it giving me any issue. I'm gonna take a little whiff. And you get that floral scent with maybe a very small hint of fruit. I would definitely get this again. And I only bought one when it came out. And then you, this year when they released it as, I think it was Confetti Daydream, I had to take that one back because I couldn't smell it. So if it came out like this, I would definitely get it again. And it was. You know, it's good on the strength and throw. It was like maybe an eight. I mean, this was a nice strength and throw. And I like the package. So that's that one. And then we have one with this iridescent label called White Surf. And this has small font, but it also has sparkling waves, fresh picked lavender, and silver sage with essential oils. This has a 2019 pour date. Here's the inside. Okay, as you can tell here, it burned pretty hot and I've got some soot and murkiness in my wax. So, you know, that's kind of a bummer. As far as the scent, you know, it's got a kind of a, that sage, I think you can probably pick up that sage, but it's kind of a cologne scent, so... I know people don't like when you describe things like that, but that's what it is. Um, would I rush out to get this? No, I probably wouldn't. But I did like the packaging, and that's, I think that's probably why I picked it up. You know, because they had this one, they had uh, watermelon lemonade and some good packaging like that. So that was enticing. And I fell for it. Alright. Now I have the raspberry mimosa. And that is fresh... No, sweet raspberries, rosé sorbet, and a splash of champagne with essential oils. Now, I have to tell y'all, I really did like this candle. Here's what it looks like 
But my problem was, it was too light for me. And I mean, it smells really good. You get that raspberry, you get the creaminess. Like, you know, you're eating some sherbet and it was raspberry flavored. But at this point, I would not get this again unless it was going to be stronger. And with them changing the exchange policy, you know, that's probably going to really limit me on what I'm buying because I don't have time to be hassled with any exchange. And I don't want to hang on to all my receipts. And, oh, we only paid $11.95, so we're going to charge you because they're on $12.95. So, I don't know if that's how it's going to work, but I don't have time for the aggravation. Now, here we have the wild berry jam donut. And it is sweet. Wild berry jam, powdered donut, brown sugar crumble. Now, this is a lot like the blueberry pie candle. Um, I think maybe the berries... The berries are a little bit different. And the pie crust note's a little bit different. But they're really close. If you like blueberry pie, you like wild berry jam donut. And I actually did pick up a couple more of these. And I got some for 75% off. So that was really exciting. Now this one, one of my wicks drifted. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's over here to the top or to the side. And I had to put it back and then it drifted again and I put it back again. So I had to really keep an eye on this one because it was burning hot. And if, you know, if your wick's that close to the edge, you're gonna crack your glass and you might catch something on fire. So you always have to watch your candles. Don't ever leave your house when they're going. You know, try to be in the same room that they're burning in, etc. And, you know, this one, I don't know if I said it was probably a seven to eight. It's wonderful. Now, this one is Harvest Pomegranate. This is out right now. This is last year's packaging. And it's rich pomegranate, freshly picked apples, sweet black plums. Here's the inside. Now, the only thing I could ever smell in this candle was the apple scent. It was a nice apple scent. But I didn't smell any plums. I didn't smell any pomegranate. You know, it was relatively strong, too. But at this point, I would not get this again. Because that's all I could smell. But it wasn't bad. And it, like I said, it was strong. It's probably like an 8. I mean, it was relatively it was real strong. And right now it's not on my repurchase list, though. Okay, now we have the Spring Plum and Blackberries. This is Juicy Market Plum. Tart Mixed Berries, Natural Vanilla Bean. Here's what it looks like. Now, this is a good candle. But for me, it was light. You know, it reminds me of the very vanilla body care and the pink lemon punch. No. It reminds me of another candle, too. It's got pink on the outside. I'd have to, um, you know, move some candles around to get to it. And, you know, there were some of these I saw for 75% off. And I left them at the store trying to be good because this just was not strong enough for me. Yeah, I'm talking about like three, four range. So at this time, I would not say go buy spring plum and blackberries. Unless you're just looking for a lint, a light scent. So you might really like it. Alright, we're almost done. Here we have the butterfly. And it was raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. Here's the inside. As you can tell, it got kind of a little gross, but as a scent throw, we're going to put it at as maybe a seven. I would definitely get it again, and I bought, I don't know how many I have, maybe three or four. And um, it smells like the body care, but to me, this body care kind of reminds me of magic in the air. And no one's really talked about that, so do you smell that, or is that just my nose? 
And I still have the Magic in the Air candle, too, I could compare it to. But this is a good scent. I I definitely recommend this. And I don't even like, like, that much floral, but this one was nice. Then what do we have? Oh, yes. Hot Fudge Drizzle. Rich Melted Chocolate, Vanilla Bean, and a Dash of Brown Sugar. I really liked this one. Um, this is a lot like the old hot fudge candle that they had. But that one, that one was just a little bit, I don't know, burnt or something. There was something in it I didn't like, but I loved the wallflower. You know, so this didn't have that burnt note or whatever it is the hot fudge Sunday candle had. Oh, and this was just good. You smell that chocolate? And it, it just was really nice. Here's the inside. I'm not sure how many more of these I bought when the sale was going because I still got a separate. I still had to put those candles in order, like put all the hot fudge Sundays together and put these ones together and those ones. So, but I would definitely recommend this. I mean, it was eight to nine too. Now, I also really liked this one. This was the cozy linen and nectarine. It's white nectarine. Fresh linens, warm sandalwood, and sweet musk. I like this one a lot, too. Uh, here's the inside. It burned pretty clean. And strength and throw on this is probably... Maybe 7 to 8. You know, you do get that little bit of that fruit smell with your laundry type smell. This was really good. I bought some of these too, but like I said, I don't know how many more of these I have because I still have to put some candles together and put them up. Well, has anyone burned in these candles? What do y'all think? And I'm just going to let you know since I got through so many here in August, I doubt I'll be getting through that many in September. We've already gone. What are we on today? We're on the 5th and I don't even have one finished yet. So yeah all right well y'all have a good day talk to you later bye